Justin, throughout history, we've seen women who famously fought for equality. And while we've come a long way for the crusade, like the right to vote, it seems a new fight is brewing. Gender stereotypes are hindering the 21st century. And as we continue to bridge the divide, 13 Action News reporter Alicia Patillo goes beyond the stigma and shares words for women from women. The problem with gender is that it prescribes how we should be rather than recognizing how we are. We teach girls to shrink themselves, to make themselves smaller. We say to girls, you can have ambition, but not too much. <laughs> you should aim to be successful, but not too successful. Otherwise, you will threaten the man. A girl, when she's um, three or four years old, at her birthday, is not given a truck. Now, she could be given a truck and she could play with it, but she's given a doll. I do think women are held to a different standard just because of the general gender roles that have shaped so much of our society and culture historically. Society tries to put women uh, just kind of on this pedestal that we shouldn't do this or we shouldn't do that. We can't have this. We can't have that. Um, you know, just the limitations that they put on us as women. Women have come a long way in the strive for gender equality, yet the fight isn't over. I would be lying if I said throughout my career I didn't feel that pressure and have and continually feel like I have to overcome those stigmas. Sure, women have made leaps and bounds in voting rights to a seat in the Oval Office. We did it. We did it, Joe. But there's a barrier we can't seem to break, a glass ceiling that seems to separate women from men in the workplace, home, and even lifestyle. I think all women have at some at some point in their lives experienced um, some type of discrimination of some sort. It seems gender stereotypes and bias toward women have carried over into the 21st century. You might think that, you know, I'm this big black woman as I'm going to be loud and all of these stereotypes, stereotypes that go along with what society has said when it comes to the big black woman. You know, we have a, a ticking clock being called the angry women and and when we're passionate about what we're doing you know oh well you, you know you got married now you have to have kids always have to be the nicer person always have to put the smile on our face no matter how we're feeling you know oh you're making more money than your other half so, you know, oh, you must wear the pants in the family. And women still face outdated taboos or unrealistic goals set by society standards. It's more than just um, a pretty face, nice body. It goes beyond. Oftentimes expected to ignore the realities of their own lives. As women, the more that you are in the spotlight or the more that you put yourself out there, the more common it is that that shows up. It's almost like there's this tendency to look for the things that that woman is failing in or not good at instead of focusing on the things that she's accomplished. Despite these barriers, women have chosen to take a stand against inequality. I'm here to just break the limitations. I would say the older I've gotten though, I don't address the stigmas. I, I don't say anything to society. I just be, again, authentically myself. I call it your problem that you're feeling that way, not my problem. Defining life on their own terms. So you are capable of integrating career, family, self-care, which is something that I'm working on. <laughs> Break the glass ceiling. I'm talking about shattering everything from the stereotypes to, you know, how we show up, how we treat one another. And while there's still a long way to go, they're seizing every opportunity to fulfill the promise of equality for all. But while I may be the first woman in this office, I will will not be the last. Alicia Batillo, 13 Action News. Do I have time to clap for that story? <laughs> Just clap a little bit. <laughs> Just ahead.